I want to uh, introduce our two very special guests joining me here today. Um, they are from All Access Life. Uh, they're empowering people with disabilities through adaptive resources. They have a super dope YouTube channel that y'all need to check out. They make crazy content, uh, not only reviews of, of adaptive products and gear and things like that. Uh, they also do gaming videos and just a lot of fun stuff. I was checking out their channel. I'm a big fan. Um, so we're going to give them a warm welcome. I need some hearts in chat. I need some flames in chat right now. All right. For our two special guests, we're here with Dan. We're here with Brad, All Access Life. Without further ado, let's bring him on. Uh, Brad, Dan, how are you guys doing today? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having us here today with you. Thanks Harry. for having us, Harry. My absolute pleasure. It's an honor and blessing to have y'all here. Uh, the community is stoked as well. All I'm seeing in the chat right now are hearts, flames, and, yes, uh, and praying hands of thanks. So, Huge uh, congrats on the 1 million uh, subs, by the way. That's a massive feat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited. It's been a long time coming. For sure. Uh, first thing I want to say is uh, Brad and I absolutely love how you awesome. and your community are all about positivity and uh, just sending out those positive vibes there in the universe. So uh, Brad and I are also all about this. And uh, we definitely knew that this was a collaboration that had to happen. Yes. yes. 100% man and we just yes, said yes sir. at the exact same time Brad I love it we're definitely on the same page <laughs> um nah man I, I I see your channel uh it's radiating with positivity and that's definitely the energy we like to have uh over here on on uh, on my channel as well so no brainer very excited to have y'all here and uh you know I I have some questions to ask y'all if that's cool yeah, yeah, that's definitely cool. Uh, first thing, though, I just want to explain what the viewers here are seeing on the screen. Please, yes. Um, so, so, yes. So, since Bradley is uh, nonverbal, he actually uses eye tracking technology in order to communicate. Um, so, what you're seeing now on screen is uh, buttons that Bradley has pre typed. He's pre typed his answers to some of the questions that you're going to ask him. And uh, whenever it's his turn to speak, he's going to look at one of these buttons and then his device is going to speak out the message. Uh, so, yeah, Brad's going to go um, more in depth on that uh, when, when he gets to it. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. This is so cool. And I've, I've also uh, been able to sneak peek some of the things that are possible with this technology in, in the previous conversations we've had. So chat, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's amazing uh, what this technology can do. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, so I'll start like this. Um, Brad, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, man? My name is Bradley Heaven. I'm 24 years old and was born with nonverbal, spastic, cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is caused by lack of oxygen to the brain at birth. For my parents, it was scary because they didn't know anything about cerebral palsy and weren't sure what my life would be like. Finding out I wouldn't be able to talk or control my muscles must have been shocking news. The moment that my parents knew I could understand what was happening around me, was around the age of three. We were all watching the movie, The Fox and the Hound, when the lady dropped off the fox in the wild and left him, I started to cry. Wow. My parents knew at that moment I could understand. I am fortunate to have a very loving and caring family who take great care of me, and who were my voice growing up when I didn't have one yet. I have two brothers and two sisters, and I am the baby of the family. Around the age of four, I was introduced to the world of a a C, which stands for augmentative and alternative communication, which is a term that's used to describe different methods of communication that can help people who are unable to use verbal speech to communicate. A A C methods vary and may be personalized to meet each individual's needs. Thanks to the advancements in A A C and assistive technologies, I'm able to be here right now telling you about myself. I feel very fortunate to have access to this technology, and I appreciate being able to share my journey with all of you. Wow. Well, we absolutely appreciate having you here and, and uh, having the opportunity uh, to learn about your journey. Uh, it's, just, it's just incredible. Um, so thank you for sharing that with me. I, I want to ask, uh, can, can you tell us how the two of you met? Uh, what's, what's the story behind uh, your relationship together? So there's definitely a lot to unpack here. Uh, Brad and I, we can go on and on for days. So um, we can honestly do a 24-hour stream. It would take that long. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
<laughs> yes, sir. So yeah, no, we're actually, we're, all, we're also writing a book. Uh, there's so much content. Uh, Brad and I have been working together for 11 years uh, that we're actually writing a book of all of our experiences and uh, just our journey in general. Wow. But uh, for today, we'll give you uh, our more condensed uh, version of, uh, of everything. Sure. So yeah, so um, initially, um, actually, well, Brad, we're going to have Brad start it off and he's going to let you guys know uh, a little bit about um, how we met. Perfect. During my childhood, I went to a specialized school. At the school, I was taught how to communicate and do my schoolwork using assistive technology. The staff at the school gave me the tools I needed to excel and they gave me the motivation to live a no-limits life. When I graduated, they encouraged me to go to a public high school because they saw my potential. I was extremely nervous because normally for someone in my situation, the next move was to go to a specialized high school. I wasn't sure how the students at a public high school would treat me. I was nervous I would get bullied or wouldn't fit it, but boy was I wrong. High school was one of my best experiences, and this is where I met Danny and our journey would begin. Amazing. So, yeah, so at the time uh, when I started working with Brad, I was 19 years old at the time. Right. Uh, Brad was 13, so we were both uh, pretty young. Um, at the time, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I had recently dropped out of college. I was taking uh, business courses, and um, at the time, that wasn't really for me. Right. But uh, it's, it's kind of ironic because now nowadays, Brad and I are running our own business. So right. it's kind of funny. It kind of went full circle. Uh, <laughs> but, but I think what had to happen was I had to find my passion first, yeah. um, which was obviously working with Brad and empowering people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. So once I found that, now the whole business side, uh, you know, just uh, goes hand in hand. Um, when I heard about the job working with Brad, um, I really uh, wasn't sure if it was the type of job for me. I, I never worked with somebody with a disability before, so I was super nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, I was totally out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But uh, my girlfriend, Kathleen, she actually told me, like, you should push yourself. You should try something new. Step out of your comfort zone, um, which is actually a theme, right? Brad and I would have never met if he didn't step out of his comfort zone and enter a mainstream mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. If I didn't step out of my comfort zone and uh, take on this role, uh, we would have never, we wouldn't be here today. So yes. um, it just, um, it just goes to show, you know, we, we discovered at an early age that uh, it's important to step out of your comfort zone and uh, try new things in life for sure. hundred percent. I'm, I'm all about that uh, in my content as well. I think, you know, for me personally, I'm always trying to push the boundaries and step outside of my own comfort zone and even getting out in the world and creating freestyle content back in 2017, when I took the first yeah. step to do that was a very terrifying thing for me at the time. And yeah, to post sure. that content and, and become vulnerable like that was a huge thing. So a big message over here, stepping out of the comfort zone. Uh, I love how, uh, Brad, how you mentioned, you know, living a no limit life and 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 that concept of you know being brave and stepping outside of the boundaries is uh is really really cool man so um i dig it i dig it and the company that you guys have together is all access life right yeah it's all access life and I, 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 we'll get to that in a minute we'll, we'll, we'll tell you guys the uh how, how we started the full foundation of it and everything yeah um but yeah i just want to go back so so the first time that i actually worked with brad um it was super intimidating the first time i met him um, he had, he was typing on head switches. He had a device called a Dynavox. Okay. He had a power chair. He was actually driving the power chair using his head. So there was so much to digest. Um, there was a lot for me to take in, but uh, it wasn't long before Brad and I just clicked. It maybe took uh, a couple of days. Yeah. And then we were kind of like yin and yang, you know, and uh, I'm super fortunate that I, I, I stepped out of my comfort zone because Brad and I, 11 years later, were uh, still attached to hips and we're currently running a business together, which is all access life. Yes. Um, but yeah, so, but first uh, we're going to have Brad let you guys know a little bit about his uh, high school experience. Please. I think he's just changing one of the settings there on his, uh, on his computer. So got you. He's doing some navigation here. Yes. As I mentioned, high school was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I made so many friends, took part in leadership camp, went to school dances, and basically got the full high school experience. Danny was with me all day every day which was awesome. Having a young male as my aide was very important to me. Danny was the perfect fit for my personality. He became like a brother to me over the years and we got into all sorts of adventures that I'll never forget. He also knew when to crack down on me when I would procrastinate with my schoolwork ha ha. I am fortunate that he stuck by my side for 11 years. Most people in my situation have different aids. 
I experienced switching aids during my elementary school years, and it was always hard on me. When I moved on to college I was nervous I would lose Danny as my aide, but luckily he remained my full-time aide, thanks Danny. During my college years Danny and I had many fun experiences. On Friday nights we would occasionally go to bars and have a few drinks, yes, this sir. was always a blast. One thing that really grinds my gears is people often think because I have a disability I can't go out and party. Well this couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> I love going out with my friends and sharing a drink or two. Yes. My favorite drink is a screwdriver, which is vodka and orange juice. Danny, tell them about the screwdriver story. Ha <laughs> ha. The okay, screwdriver okay. story. Oh man, this is one of the best stories ever. So so Brad, uh, my girlfriend and I, we went to, uh, to a bar. And yeah. We had a, a waitress take an order. So, uh, so my girlfriend and I, we ordered rum and cokes and Brad ordered... Uh, I actually ordered for Brad. I ordered him uh, the screwdriver, which is, uh, as Brad mentioned, vodka and orange juice. Right. And uh, and the waitress, she kind of had this like puzzled look on her face, you know, but she still took down the orders and yeah. she walked to the back. And uh, maybe about five minutes later, she uh, she came back and she only had two drinks on her tray. Mm. So I'd be like, oh, that's weird. All three of us ordered. Why are there only two drinks? Uh -huh. So anyways, she handed my girlfriend and I a rum and coke. And then we were wondering, okay, where's Brad's drink? And then what happened next was just unbelievable. She actually reached in her back pocket and handed us an actual screwdriver. <laughs> so either That's one, amazing. either one, she didn't know what a vodka orange juice. <laughs> she didn't know it was called the screwdriver. Or right. Two, she just, I guess, maybe thought because Brad has a disability and is in a wheelchair, he's not able to drink. Right. He probably had to maybe fix his wheelchair or something. So uh, that was, uh, it was intense. Wow, an actual screwdriver. Kind of amazing yeah. that she was able to yeah, find one so quickly. <laughs> yeah, it, you know? yeah. she just has like screwdrivers ha hanging around, you know? <laughs> That's hysterical. That's hysterical. I love it. I love it. Yeah, man. So, so, so that was uh, that was one of our stories there. Uh, we, we've been, Brad and I have been on so many adventures, uh, but we'll quickly just jump back into All Access Life and just Please. let you guys know. Yes, we found many life so yeah, so we'll just let you guys know a little bit about All Access Life. Yeah. Um, when I first started working with Brad, uh, I became like super fascinated with all the uh, assistive technologies and adaptive products that would uh, better his life. I just started to research this and, uh, you know, there were so many things coming out. And um, whenever I noticed that uh, something didn't exist, I would try to make it myself. So a DIY project or something. Mm. So um, in grade eight, Brad had, uh, it was grade eight, Brad, you had the iPad, right? Mm. Yeah, grade eight. So in grade eight, um, Brad had this iPad that he wasn't able to use at the time. Uh, there was no way for him to actually access it. Right. Um, I, I knew Bradley loved to paint. So what I did was I went to the dollar store and uh, I wanted to get him a stylus that he could be able to draw on the iPad. Yeah. But since he has a spastic cerebral palsy, he can't actually hold a stylus. So I created for him like a head strap device. I super glued um, a stylus to it, kind of like a unicorn horn. Wow. And uh, the next thing you know, Brad was, uh, he was it Picasso was awesome. up there. Yeah, yeah. That sounds so, awesome, man. That's amazing. Bradley Picasso, I like to call him. Hey, Bradley Picasso yes, in the building. <laughs> That's cool, because I, I, I rap about Picasso all the time. You know what's great right. about Picasso is Pablo rhymes with Picasso. It's just, yeah. it's just too perfect. It works. It works. <laughs> amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, man. So, so, so we just noticed there was yes. like an abundance of all these uh, adaptive resources coming out uh, that it was impossible for Brad and I to keep up with all these new technologies. Yeah. So we just said, hey, why not, uh, why not just like take all these products that are all scattered all over the internet and, uh, and create the first ever one-stop shop for accessibility. Uh, yeah. So on our website, allaccesslife.org, we showcase uh, all the latest trends in adaptive products, assistive technologies, apps, resources, and uh, so many more things. We've been doing this for uh, three or four years now. Amazing. Amazing. I love yeah, it. Man. I love it. Such cool work you guys are doing. Um, I have a question. Now, this is, this is crazy here, but I have been told, um, Dan, that, that you're able to read Brad's mind. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we hear this all the time, you know. So since... Since uh, we've been working together for 11 years, you know, we've developed uh, a very strong bond. And uh, yeah. I, pretty much, I pretty much know what Brad's thinking, I'd say a good 99% of the time. Yeah. But uh, trust me, that's not always a good <laughs> thing, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, man, uh, basically, er early on in our career, uh, early on when I started working with Brad, I really relied on uh, his technology yeah. for us to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, he is very good at facial gestures. So, Brad, if you want to show them a yes and a no, 
Oh, so yeah. yeah, so he would, in conjunction with using his technology, he would often say yes and no. Um, but I think maybe, Brad, it was what, after the first year, right? We had to send in the Dynavox? Yeah. So yeah, um, after year one, his technology it was having issues. So we had to send it uh, away for like a couple of weeks. Mm. So uh, he could no longer rely on this technology. So I we had to communicate solely through uh, just facial gestures and eye movements. So Brad and I, we ended up creating our own language. And nowadays, like, we could just walk around the mall, you know, and have full on conversations just off Brad, uh, just off his facial gestures and his eye wow. movements. So, uh, yeah, no, it's amazing. And, and every time somebody sees that, they're always like, are you reading his mind? Like, like what's going on here? You know? <laughs> That is amazing. That's so cool. So you guys, th that's like way beyond, you know, like a secret handshake or a code word to oh, get yeah, into yeah, a it's, club. It's like you, you yeah. have your own language. It's next level. It's next level. Like it actually got to a point where I would say early on uh, when I was working with Brad, um, I walked into work and Brad did this gesture. Brad, if you want to show them. So it was yeah. basically a very rapid head movement. Okay. And I, and I looked at him and I was like, Oh, Brad, there's a problem with your headrest and your mom's going to be sending me a text message about it. Uh, and he was just like, what? Like, <laughs> how did you figure that out? You know, that's and, fantastic. Uh, Unbelievable. Yeah, like basically how I dissected that was, uh, he looked at my pocket where my cell phone is. Yeah. And then he looked back like the direction of where his house is. And then he looked back at his headrest. So I kind of put it all together and, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is was, so uh, cool. That is so cool. Um, I was shocked. I, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. You probably thought for a second, yo, is this guy reading my mind right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> Wait a second. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's incredible. So, um, oh, sorry, Dan, were you going to go on? No, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so, 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 Brad, I, I know what we're seeing right here is, uh, is your eye tracking technology, right? Can you explain to everybody watching what exactly is eye tracking and, and how it kind of works? Through infrared technology, my Turby eye tracker is able to pick up my eye movements and display them onto my Surface Book free laptop. The easiest way to explain it is my eyes act as the mouse and keyboard. So, I can surf the web, play video games, work on our website, write papers for school, paint using my eyes, I have full control over my computer. Right now, I'm using my communication software to communicate with you. Like Danny mentioned before, I type my longer responses, like the one you're hearing right now, in advance and save them as buttons. This way when I get asked a question, I can look at the buttons I programmed and my device speaks out the message. I can also communicate on the fly and take part in active conversations using my keyboard. To show you guys an example, I'll go to my keyboard now and type something and Danny will explain how it's working. Awesome. So yeah, so this is Bradley's keyboard right here. And if you guys look closely, you're going to see a little green circle filling up. And that's, uh, th that's basically wherever Brad's eyes are looking. Um, so through infrared technology, his um, eye tracker sits below his laptop and uh, picks up his eye movements and uh, mimics them on the screen. So um, you're also going to notice that he does have some word prediction uh, text there, no. which is a total game changer. Um, I remember a time where Brad was typing with head switches and there was no word prediction. So wow. just to say, hi, my name is Brad would literally take up to two to three minutes. Uh, whereas now we can say that in 10 to 20 seconds, you know? So right. technology is, uh, is amazing. So cool. I'm so excited to be on here. Wow. That was so cool too, to see step-by-step step how you put that together. I was just watching uh -huh. and the predictive text. Uh, it's amazing. It's so cool. He's a speed demon. He's, he, he's so fast. He like for, for school, he writes 5,000, 10,000 word essays and, uh, in no time now. It's, it's amazing what that technology can do. Uh -huh. So <laughs> awesome. So awesome, man. I, I, I needed you uh, as a roommate in college, man, because uh, I was much slower on my on my 5,000 word papers. I'll tell you that. Um, but this is just so cool to see how this works. Uh, mm -hmm. I also, you know, I want to ask, do, do you guys travel a lot? Because I've, uh, I've heard you're into traveling and you've, you've, you've gone to some cool places. I've heard you've been to mm -hmm. Vegas. Uh, is that right? Great question. Great question. So yeah, in uh, January, 2020, uh, Brad and I flew out to Vegas uh, right before the pandemic started. Mm. And uh, it was a phenomenal experience. Um, the flying part was a little bit iffy, eh, bud? <laughs> yeah. So, so there's not uh, too many accessible flying options, mm. but uh, luckily my, my girlfriend, Kathleen, she came with us and she helped out. Um, cool. So getting Brad on and off the plane was a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we, we, we definitely managed. Yeah. Um, how it worked is I took Brad out of his chair 
my girlfriend took his uh, his insert, which is basically just his backrest and his uh, seat. Yeah. She put it on the plane seat, and then I kind of shimmied Brad through the uh, the plane, put him on the seat, and strapped him in. And uh, it wasn't the most to laugh out loud. <laughs> it was an adventure, exactly. <laughs> sure, yeah. I can well imagine. Said, Brad. So yeah, then I strapped Brad in, and again, it wasn't the most comfortable ride, but uh, but Brad managed. And uh, mm-hmm. once we once we saw the Vegas Strip in the uh, in the plane window there, we, we yeah. knew uh, it was worth it in the end, right? Yes. And um, yeah, we, we attended CES. Uh, that's the Consumer Electronics Show. Okay. Uh, it's a three-day event held in Vegas every year. Right. And um, it basically showcases the latest trends uh, in technology. And Brad and I, we went there specifically to find the technology uh, for people with disabilities, you know, that can uh, right. have an impact on their lives. So uh, we saw a lot of cool things. And uh, one of the coolest things that Brad saw, actually, that he's going to tell you guys about uh, is a self-driving car. So Brad's going to let you guys know about uh, the self-driving car that he saw. It was mind-blowing. Wow. At CES, we found many life-changing adaptive products that are going to have a massive impact on my life and many other lives. The coolest thing we saw by a long shot was self-driving cars. We saw a few of them, but there was one that was specifically designed for people with disabilities. It was an absolute game-changer. How it worked was, when I approached the vehicle, Through facial recognition it would recognize my face and automatically open the doors and deploy a ramp to get it. Then, once I would enter the vehicle, the ramp would automatically close, followed by the doors. The coolest part though, was that it had a huge LCD navigation screen that had a built-in eye tracker. This literally means I could autonomously enter the vehicle and select my destination using my eyes, then the vehicle would drive me. I was literally mind blown. I'm so excited to be living in the age of technology. So, that was the more business side of the trip. Danny and I worked hard, but we also had the full Vegas experience. (laughs) During evenings after CES, Danny, his girlfriend Kathleen and I, explored different casinos and tried our luck on some slots. Unfortunately, we had no luck the ha ha, next time. (laughs) One of my favorite memories was when we bought one of those tall daiquiri drinks. And I mean tall, Danny literally had a shoulder strap to carry it. <laughs> Down, Kathleen and I walked around the Vegas Strip and attempted to finish that beast of a drink. Yeah. Overall, this trip was amazing and we are planning on going back to CES next year. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, you got to love Vegas, right? That's definitely yeah. the only place you can get a daiquiri that requires a uh, shoulder strap. That's that's shoulder strap. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, and, and that car sounds absolutely insane. I'm also very excited about um, self-driving cars uh, in general, you know, because uh, it turns out humans aren't very good at driving them. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I think we're, we're, we're in a good place. Uh, it, it's a very exciting time to be alive. That sounds incredible. Um, Awesome. So tell me, because I'm, I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. Uh, I'm subscribed. I encourage everybody watching right now, chat, definitely go subscribe to the All Access Life uh, YouTube channel. They make great content. Uh, when did you guys get started on YouTube and, and what are you hoping to accomplish with your channel? So yeah, it's a great question. So um, Brad and I actually got started on our YouTube channel uh, right after we won um, an entrepreneurial competition uh, called Dawson's Den. Mm. So if you guys have ever seen Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, uh, there was basically a bunch of judges and Brad and I presented All Access Life, um, our, uh, our nonprofit. And uh, he actually ended up getting first uh, place. We, Brad and I had no business experience. We weren't really entrepreneurs, but we got kind of pushed to do it by uh, some people that worked at the, wow. uh, the college. And uh, next thing you know, we got first place. Congrats. Uh, won 50- yeah, thank you very much. Um, we won 1500 bucks. And then with that money, we're like, why don't we buy a camera and start, uh, start some YouTube, you know, start creating some content, you know, we, we've yeah. always wanted to do it and we had the money now. So it was time. So we, uh, purchased the camera and started uh, filming our adaptive product reviews. And, um, one of our first reviews of the uh, Xbox adaptive controller. Um, so I actually have it here right now. It's a controller that Microsoft created for people with physical disabilities, um, in order for Dope. them to be able to play video games. So the coolest thing about this is it has 19 programmable ports on it that you can program to be any button on a regular pad. So basically, Brad, uh, he was using his head switches. Yeah. So let's say um, in, in Call of Duty, if you wanted to uh, use the trigger, he would just plug a switch in to the uh, right trigger uh, slot. And then uh, next thing you know, he's able to, to shoot and COD. So um, we Dope. reviewed this controller. And um, yeah, it ended up getting 1.3 million views and just blowing up. 
And uh, we have a nice little community now. So we love filming our adaptive product reviews. Um, Brad and I, we, we play COD together. So uh, Microsoft actually has a feature called Copilot. Right. So basically what this feature is, is it, it allows Brad and I to play together as one controller. So wow. I control all the buttons except for shoot and Brad controls shoot. So together we have to nice. team up. It, it's hilarious. <laughs> it makes for the best like uh, videos ever for sure. And uh, he has to wait for my crosser to be on the enemy and then he has to shoot at the right time. And it's, uh, yeah. it, it's amazing. Yeah. So do you guys get along well while you're doing that? Or does it ever, you know, does it ever spark some arguments? Well, like, Hey man, well, where were you with the aim? I was ready to shoot. Uh, we're, we're, we're yelling at each other the whole entire time. And, and if ever it gets too crazy, we have this game called dive kick where it's, it's a two button fighting game. And that's oh, yeah. hash out. I yeah, played yeah, that so actually. I played that. Yeah. You play that, yeah, yeah. So that's how we hash out all of our arguments. Yeah, bad as dive and kick, and then uh, yeah, we, we we do one, one versus yeah. one battles there. And uh, nice. to be honest, he he does normally whoop my butt for sure. So yeah, that's, say, he's good at that game. That's fantastic. That's perfect for the two for the two switches. There's only two controls, so exactly, exactly. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an even playing field for sure. Yes, yes, incredible. I love it. I love it. Yes. So cool. Yeah, so, so yeah, so Brad, just gonna, he's going to let you guys know uh, what we plan on accomplishing uh, yes. with the YouTube channel. Please. We, have, we have some huge goals for sure. With our channel, we hope to continue shedding light on all the life-changing adaptive products coming out with our adaptive product reviews. We also plan on doing more vlog-style videos and an attempt to break the stigma attached to disabilities. I love showing the world how anything is possible with the right mindset. Anyone can live a no-limits lifestyle. You also caught us at the perfect time because next week we are starting back up with our gaming videos. Yes. I absolutely love gaming. I've always been a gamer at heart my entire life, but I never had a way to play, until now. With the creation of the Xbox Adaptive Controller and the advancements in eye tracking technology, I can finally unleash my inner gamer. Yes. No longer do I have to passively sit on the sidelines and watch others play. I can now be in the heart of the action. We may even do some videos of me going back and playing games I never had a chance to play growing up, mm. like Banjo and Kazooie or Mario. So, if you like gaming, want to see some life-changing adaptive products, or just want to see the adventures Danny and I get ourselves in, you should check out our channel. All access life on YouTube. Love it. Yeah, chat, please make sure y'all go subscribe. Uh, you're definitely going to want to check out the content. The gaming content is great. Uh, I love the vlog content as well and, and just uh, all the stuff you guys are doing. So um, that, keep crushing it on YouTube. Uh, any big plans coming up this year? I, I heard a I heard a rumor, Brad. Are you are you uh, doing a marathon? Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, to tell you a little bit about that. So on... September 26th, yeah. uh, Brad and I are going to be running a full 42.2 kilometer marathon. Wow. Um, yes, sir. Now, the goal is to raise enough money um, to be able to focus on our nonprofit All Access Life full time for one year. We basically awesome. just, we, we know if we give it one final push, we can really have a massive impact. I'm so excited. Show. Yeah, yeah. De definitely excited. 100%. I can imagine. Um, yeah, man, we just launched our GoFundMe uh, yesterday and uh, it's already uh, it's already doing very well. So the plan is, uh, like I said, to raise enough money to, to focus on All Access Life full time. And um, how we're going to run the marathon, I'm actually going to be pushing Bradley 40 kilometers in his adaptive stroller. Mm -hmm. And then at the 40K mark, I'm actually going to be transferring Brad in his adaptive walker and he's going to be bringing it home the last 2.2 kilometers. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be amazing. Can't wait for that. Wow. That is epic. I man. want to showcase to the world. During my childhood, I went to a specialized school. I want to showcase to the world what's possible with a no limits mindset. So, I'll be running the last two kilometers in my adaptive walker. For me, this is a very long distance, but I know I can do it and I can't wait to cross the finish line. Man, that is so inspiring. The no limits mindset is, I think, something that 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 we all need to take inspiration from. I'm I'm inspired by it. just hearing that right now, man. That's epic. That's epic. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to hear back from you guys afterwards. And uh, man, I mean, you know, take some time off. Obviously, that's insane. Damn, what'd you say? Forty? 
How many kilometers? 42.2? 42.2, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a long wow. one, for sure. Wow. Uh, well, congratulations. And, hey, ch- uh, Mods, I think we have the uh, – yeah, I'm seeing the GoFundMe thank link so coming up. No, nah, th- thank you guys for coming on here. We got your GoFundMe link coming into the chat right now. So, nice. uh, guys, please donate mm-hmm. to the GoFundMe. Uh, help these cats out, man. Uh, Brad is living oh, wow. the no-limit life, and uh, right. it's just so dope to see, man. Yes, sir. Huge Appreciate man. that, man. Man. Huge, huge blessing to have you guys on here. Um, that's all the questions I have, but uh, yeah. you know, this is the Harry Mack official yeah. Twitch yeah. channel that we're on right now. Uh, so you know, I, I, I think we got to give the people some freestyles. You know, uh, wh- wh- what do we think about that? Can we do a freestyle, Brad? Definitely. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Let's get it. All right. So I got some beats. Uh, let me, I, I'm just going to put it on shuffle and let it play whatever it plays. I got a bunch of beats over here. Um, so, so Brad, why don't you give me some words? And if you want, you can give me some up front or you can just, uh, and, and then you can keep yelling them at me while I'm rapping. You know, you can just, just yell them out at me. So what are we starting with? all access life all access life let's get it uh should we start with that i'll drop the beat and the rest you'll throw them out while i'm going yeah let's get it let's get it all right here we go let's see what beat comes up here in the in the shuffle hold on i want to get a good one. Oh, here we go here we go yeah 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 ah Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, check, 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 check. We cutting through those obstacles like a knife. Shout my man Brad living that all excess life. Yeah, we all up on the competition, we gon' win it. Yeah, he got the mindset with no limits. Uh, y'all know I'm about to spew for you. At the end of the marathon, he's going 2.2 kilometers. Y'all know you in tune to the Mackin'. My mind's advanced like technology eye tracking. Yeah, and y'all know that we about to get the reward. Using your eyes, you be controlling the keyboard. It's amazing. Yo, it never bores me. Using the numbers, you can pre-program your story. HMAC, I be spitting these flames. Your eyes got you driving cars and playing video games. This technology's astounding. Spit about all in my surroundings. When I give it, y'all, it's no limit. We infinite, never timid. We gon' push it to the brink. Yeah, coming up with rhymes just as quickly as I think. Yo, Brad, keep them coming. We never gotta slow down. I take a million words a minute. I go more rounds. We all up in it and we keep on expanding. Your whole vibe, yo, the Mac be enhancing. Hey, yo, the people get to tripping when I do a verse. Your mindset has no limits, something like the universe. Keeps on expanding. I hope that you feeling me. We got the eye tracking yeah, for accessibility. Man. Yeah, so everyone can get down. Using your eyes, you can program the sounds. I can hear them in my ear and we can have the conversation. We be taking over, this is hip-hop domination. Doing what Marathon. we feeling right now, we gon' carry on. Hey, I go 42 Point two in this marathon H Mac man I'm running so absurd from pushing to running to spitting the words it's a rap marathon we in it for the long haul improvise my bars but it's sounding like a song y'all hey and y'all know we got them tactics it's H Mac off the top I'm the rap smith hey yo I'm stretching in the game like elastic to have Brad and Dan on my show boy I'm ecstatic hold up you know we leave them impressed spitting till I'm out of breath y'all we keeping it fresh this is the all access and we all combine h mac blow your mind with incredible rhymes yeah no limit we gon' push it to the end h mac man i had to lock in with my friends hold up hey yo we about to get y'all a few views chat make sure y'all subscribe to the youtube oh uh, hey yo y'all know i jump with no bungee yeah y'all better hit up that go fund me uh, hey yo this session i be clearing it we locking it together for that awesome experience let me say thanks Brad for swinging by, for inspiring flows with words that's mad fly. Yo, Dan and you got a special relationship. Tapping in live for technology amazingness. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we had some high expectations. Yeah. But that was, uh, 
Unreal. Yo. Unbelievable. Thank you, man. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Brad. You were keeping me on my toes, bro. No doubt. Yeah, he, he was firing them off there. <laughs> I was, I'm not even going to lie. I was trying to cheat a little bit and see the word you were typing out, you know, so I could Amazing. plan ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> but, uh, oh, man. no, man, that was incredible. Uh, listen, Brad, Dan, uh, I can't thank you guys enough for coming on the show and, and being our special guest today uh, and inspiring everybody. I know that, that I'm in, extremely inspired by your story, Brad, uh, and everything that you're accomplishing, man, and that No Limit Mindset, bro. Bro, we're all about it over here. So um, really appreciate y'all coming through. And, uh, you know, we, um, we're going to be following your journey, no doubt. Thank you so much for having us, man. It, uh, it means the world to us. That, that was um, mind-blowing. Thank you so much. We had an amazing time. Man, my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, well, well, guys, everybody in chat, uh, make sure you hit up the YouTube. Please support the GoFundMe if you can. And uh, Brad and Dan, until next time, y'all keep shining, all right?